in the last presentation we completed the introduction about the multiplexers now in this one we are going to complete 4 cross 1 multiplexer so as the name suggests it is having the 4 inputs and of course multiplexers are always having the 1 output so I can write n is equal to 4 where n is the number of input to the multiplexer now the next thing that we have to do is to find out the number of select lines and if you remember I told you that if m is the number of select line then it is equal to log having base 2 n so we are having n here I can put 4 at this point and I can evaluate the value of m so let's do it m is equal to log 2 4 I can also write it as log with base 2 it is equal to 2 to the power 2 okay now by the properties of the logarithm we are having 2 log base 2 and then 2 whenever there is a log having base a and the number is also a then it is equal to 1 so I can say this thing is equal to 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 so m is equal to 2 and m is our select line so I have already drawn two select lines here these are our select lines and four four input I can write it as data input for data input lines and there is one output now the next thing is to make the table for this 4 cross 1 multiplexer you might be guessing that why I have not used enable in this case because I used it in the case of 2 cross 1 multiplexer I just don't want to make this complicated for you actually it will not make that much complications but uh, I just don't want to involve enable in this 4 cross 1 multiplexer you can add definitely enable in this and uh, the only thing you need is to give enable to each and every AND gate that we will see in the last so the next thing is our table we are having S0 and S1 as our select line so depending upon the values of S0 and S1 we are going to have our output Y so as there are two variables we are having four possible combinations 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 okay now when the value of S0 and S1 is 0 0 the Y Y is equal to I0 okay it is linked to the output y similarly when s1 and s0 is 0 1 i1 will be linked to the output for the last two cases so in this case I am having i0 i1 i2 and then i3 so what is the value of y let's find out for this first case I am having S1 complement S0 complement I0 for the second case I am having S0 S1 complement S0 I1 for this case S1 S0 complement I2 and for the last case I am having S1 S0 I3 fine now the next step is to implement this logic by using the gates so I have already made the circuit this is the required circuit for the 4 is to 1 mux okay in this we are having S1 sorry this is S1 and this is S0 S1 and S0 as the select line and these are the end gates that we have used to implement this min terms four min terms are here okay and at the last I have odd the output of all these four and gates these are your data inputs i0 i1 i2 and i3 now the important thing is if you want to add enable if you want to let's say give enable 
e at this point and uh, you already know that the circuit will work when the enable is 1 if enable is 0 it is not going to work so one thing we can do in this case is to put put a AND gate here and give enable at this point and instead of having Y here we are having Y as the output of this AND gate so when E is equal to 0 the Y is equal to 0 it means that circuit is not enabled so very simple so this is all that we need to know about the 4 is to 1 multiplexer in the next presentation we will complete 8 is to 1 multiplexer and then we will move to the MUX tree so see you in the next presentation.